I recently did a video on honey and uh, got a lot of questions and then I recently kind of stumbled across some more research on honey, specifically Manuka honey that I wanted to share. So there's a bacteria that you can get in your stomach called uh, Helicobacter pylori, shortened to H. pylori when people talk about it. And in our field of focusing a lot on hiatal hernia issues, we see this a lot because Helicobacter pylori is a bacteria and it can cause gastritis and stomach ulcers and duodenal ulcers. It creates a lot of inflammation in the stomach. So uh, there are some people apparently who uh, will have this bacteria, yet it's not causing ill effects for them. It's kind of part of their natural flora of their gut. But generally speaking, when we see, when we measure for it and we see it, and of course the patient has symptoms, then we want to treat it. Now, the typical treatment is a triple anti, um, well, antibacteria because you want to kill it off, but um, it's uh, a treatment that can be very harsh. So it's, it's, a, it's a trio of antibiotics and you, know, you take Pepto-Bismol and there's, there's several things to it, but the point is that I've had patients who just stopped the treatment because they were so miserable. I'm like, I, I can't do this, which of course is problematic because you need to get rid of this bacteria. Now, for many, many years, we've had natural protocols that we use, so it's a, a series of herbs that work very well and they're much less harsh on the patient, but they get the job done. And it is important to then retest and make sure you have eradicated it. But the other thing to know is that this is not a bacteria that just because you treated it once, you'll never get again. Uh, if you have a weakened immune system, uh, it, you're very likely to get it again it can, and it can cause all the same problems. So what we want to do is not only eradicate it when we find it, but get to the root cause of why your immune system is so weakened that you're allowing this bacteria to continue to infiltrate. Now, back to Manuka honey. So Manuka honey is very special because it not only has antibacterial properties, but it's anti-inflammatory and it has antioxidant properties. So it's very strong at uh, reducing inflammation and as I said, antibacterial. Now, the special ingredient in Manuka honey, uh, the, the antibacterial compounds are called methylglyoxal compounds. So they, they talk about Manuka honey as its UMF rating. And so that is how rich it is in, in these compounds. And that rating is very important because otherwise you're just eating honey and, and getting some sugar and, and nobody needs that if it's not being uh, efficacious. So uh, with Manuka honey, it comes from the New Zealand Manuka bush. So you'll see as you search for Manuka honey, it's, it's from New Zealand and, and that's why the bees are pollinating that plant. And um, it's expensive. So uh, a, a, a small little bottle, like a month's worth of, of a tablespoon a day is, is quite expensive. So I, I tell patients to think about it more like a supplement, you know, and not a food, because it's not something you're just, you know, pouring over your granola and, and putting in your yogurt, but you're, you're, you're deciding how, how you want to ingest that tablespoon, uh, but, but it is a, a tablespoon, maximum two per day, and, um, and, and think of it as, as, as a supplement, as something you're doing kind of medicinally for yourself. It's delicious, uh, but it's also uh, medicinal. So, um, the, so there's a couple of studies that looked at daily consumption of one to two tablespoons and it reduced um, H. pylori levels in humans, plus another study that, that um, utilized the honey along with the traditional antibiotic protocol and they found that the Manuka honey sped up the resolution of handling the H. pylori, so that was good. I feel that what we see here, uh, as I said, we treat a lot of um, hiatal hernia patients and we do find a lot of Helicobacter pylori infections. We do use a natural protocol, but augmenting with the Manuka honey is something that seems to be beneficial. So uh, it's not. I'm not saying that if if you have severe 
burning, nausea, bloat, um, and you find you have an H. pylori infection, I'm not saying the only thing you should do is Manuka honey. Uh, what I am saying is that in combination, which uh, we like to say, uh, sorry, we like to start with, as I mentioned earlier, uh, natural protocols, more herbal protocols, because we find them very efficacious, and as I mentioned, not, not so hard on the patient. Um, if we have to go to the, the antibacterials, we do. If we retest and it's very resistant, so be it, but we start naturally and that, that usually gets the job done. Uh, so, but if you augment with the Manuka honey, and then if you see my prior video, you'll find a lot of good reasons. It decreases fat cells and fat number, and it actually stabilizes the blood sugar. So a lot of times when you're reading about Manuka honey, they'll mention, okay, it's a carb, it's a sugar, so, you know, be mindful if you if you have diabetes, etc. And yes, you do want to be mindful, and you do want to make sure that you're putting the 17 grams of carbohydrates, which is a tablespoon of manuka honey, into your macros for the day. So you're figuring where that fits. So you're not going too high in the carbohydrates. But they've actually found a lot of blood sugar stabilization benefits of manuka honey. So I definitely encourage you to look at that earlier video where I go through about, I don't know, six or seven different <laughs> reasons why Manuka honey is great. Now we're adding another reason, which is the benefits for uh, killing off H. pylori. And so how does it do that? So it disrupts the cell wall. So this is a living organism, it's a bacteria. So obviously if you disrupt its wall, it's gonna die. Um, it also interferes, the honey interferes with the metabolism. So again, the ability of the bacteria to function. And then it overall reduces inflammation of the stomach lining which is what the H. pylori is inflaming. So it's inflaming your stomach lining. So that's how it affects its benefits, which is beautiful. And I think it's something that I have adopted for, for several months now, just a, just a tablespoon a day. Um, and for, for the, the full benefits of what it can affect in the human body. And, and there are many. So we're adding H. pylori benefits to that list. And um, please let me know if you found this video helpful, if you're having any digestive complaints and you're feeling like you're just not getting resolution or you're just being handed drug, 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 and um, you know, you're really not feeling better and it's not getting to the root cause. Because what we have to keep in mind is while well, drugs are very effective on a surface level and, and can get us out of um, dangerous situations, uh, that's fine, and, and we utilize medication here as well. Not very much, but we do. But the point is that we want to resolve the root cause of what's creating the problem and not just stop at the Band-Aid. Okay, so the, the drug is a Band-Aid, and it should be utilized while you're concurrently figuring out why. Why is my body doing this? And then when you get to that deeper root cause and treat that effectively, then we wean you off the drug because you don't need it anymore. That's the perfect scenario in our mind here at Root Cause Medical Clinic. So if you are suffering, if you're not liking how you're feeling, if digestion is an issue for you, or really anything at all about your health that's non-optimal, reach out for a consultation. That's what we do. We're very good at it, and we'd be delighted to help you.